welcome back to Statistics and Probability class. In this lesson, we will learn new concepts but still related to our previous lessons. This time, we will talk about length of confidence interval and sample size determination. Confidence level of an interval estimate of a parameter refers to the probability that the parameter is contained in the interval estimate. It describes what percentage of intervals for many different samples contains the unknown population parameter. Confidence coefficients are the corresponding coefficients of confidence levels, and they are used to find the margin of error. Confidence interval or interval estimate is a range of values that is used in estimating a parameter. Note, however, that this interval estimate may or may not contain the true parameter value. We write confidence interval this way. Population U is greater than lower limit but less than limit or open parenthesis, lower limit, comma, upper limit, close parenthesis. Lower limit is obtained through the formula LL equals X bar minus E, while the upper limit is obtained by the formula UL equals X bar plus E, where X bar is the sample mean and E is the margin of error or the range of values above and below the sample statistic. To get the margin of error, we use the formula capital letter E equals Z sub alpha over 2 times sigma, small sigma, over square root of small n, where n is the sample size, z sub alpha over 2 is the confidence coefficient or critical value, while sigma, small sigma, is the population standard deviation, and capital letter E is the margin of error. To compute for the length of the confidence interval L, we use the formula L, the length of the confidence interval, equals UL minus LL. However, if the sample mean is not given, we use the formula L equals 2 times Z sub alpha over 2 times sigma over square root of L. Or L, the length of confidence interval, is also equal to 2 times E, or 2 times the margin of L. Example 1. A random sample of 43 scores from the exam results of PBL learners is considered and a sample mean of 77 is obtained from said results with interval scores ranging from 74.16 to 79.84 at 90% level of confidence. What is the margin of error? What is the confidence interval? What is the length? Or what is its length? What is the conclusion? So the given in the problem are the sample size, which is 43, the sample mean, which is 77, the value of the upper limit, which is 79.84, the lower limit, which is 74.16, and the confidence level, which is 90%. First, let us try to solve for the value of the confidence interval. The confidence interval, as have been discussed, is between the lower limit and the upper limit. So in this problem, the confidence interval is less than the lower limit which is 74 point or greater than greater than the lower limit which is 74.16 but less than the upper limit which is 79.84 or simply from 74.16 to 79.84. Exclusive. Then for the length, it is the upper limit minus the lower limit. So 79.84 minus 74.16, the length is 5.68. And for the margin of error denoted by capital E, um, one of the formulas that we have is lower limit equals sample mean minus the margin of error. Since we have values for these two variables, then we may solve for the remaining variable E or the margin of error. By substitution, we have 74.16, the lower limit, equals the sample mean, which is 77, that is in the given, minus E, 
and by some properties of equality by additive or addition property of equality you will get E is equal to 2.84. That will come from 77 or by adding to both sides positive E and then by adding also negative 74.60 to both sides or simply 77 minus 74.60. That's the value of 2.84. And for our conclusion, we are 90% confident that comes from the confidence level. We are 90% confident that the estimate differs from the true mean by 2.84, that's a margin of error, and that the population mean score lies between 74.16 and 79.84. Example 2. Sally is interested to know the average price of skirt her customer has purchased. She sampled 140 skirts that were sold and found out that the mean average price is 300 pesos with a standard deviation of 15 pesos. Construct a 95% confidence interval for the mean price of all skirts that were sold. Compute for the length of the confidence interval. So the given in the problem are the sample size which is 140, the sample mean, which is 300, which corresponds to 300 pesos. The population standard deviation, which is 15. The confidence level, which is 95%. And the confidence coefficient, or the what we call critical value, which is 1.96. First, let us try to solve for the margin of error, which is denoted by capital E. There are some formulas that we may use, but considering this set of given, we may use this formula. E, margin of error, equals confidence coefficient times standard deviation over square root of n, or sample size. By substitution, we will get this equation. E equals the value of the critical value or confidence coefficient is 1.96, that's from the given, times standard deviation of 15 over square root of the sample size, which is 140. So by using your calculator, you will get the value of E or margin of error, which is 2.48. Now, to continue, let us solve for the value of the upper limit. The upper limit can be derived using this formula UL, which stands for upper limit, equals sample mean plus the margin of error. And the value of the sample mean from the given is 300 plus, um, we have solved for the value of the margin of error already, which is 2.48, then getting their sum, you'll get the upper limit, which is 302.48. Next, the lower limit. Let us use also the formula for finding the lower limit, which is LL equals sample mean minus margin of error. Again, from the given, the values, the corresponding values of sample mean and E, their difference is 300 minus 2.48, which is equal to 297.52. And that is the value of the lower limit. Now, for the confidence interval, we know that it is between the lower limit and the upper limit. So, the confidence interval is greater than 297.52. And, and less than 302.48. Simply, again, again between 297.52 and 302.48. For the length, we've known that this can be solved by finding the difference between the upper limit and the lower limit. So, 302.48 minus 297.52, the length is 4.96. For our conclusion, thus, we are 95% confident that the true average differs from the true mean by 2.48 and that, and that the population average price of the given sample, uh, the given sample skirts lies between 297.52 pesos and 302 pesos 48 centavos. Example 3. Complete the following table by solving for the unknown in each row. So, in the given, we have the sample size, 40, the sample mean, 75. The standard deviation of the population is um, not applicable here in this example, in this particular example. 
the confidence level is 20%, the lower limit is 65%, upper limit is 80%. We need to find four values. Those are the confidence coefficient or critical value, the margin of error E, the confidence interval, and the length. So first, let us find the value of the critical or the uh, confidence coefficient. From the discussion earlier, we have known that this uh, coefficient corresponds to the confidence level. And from the table that was shown earlier, the confidence level of 90% corresponds to this corresponds to the confidence coefficient or critical value of 1.645. So we've known one value already. We are left with 3, E, confidence interval, and L. Next, let us solve for E or the margin of error. Now, we may use this formula considering the given. We may not use the formula with which contains this variable, the critical value. Uh, recall in example 2, we use that formula to find E, that formula with this variable, because uh, we have the given standard deviation there. But since we do not have the standard deviation, then we may not use that formula. Let us use another formula. Another formula uh, is that which includes the upper limit. Another includes lower limit, but this time let's use the formula which includes the upper limit. So it's upper limit equals sample mean plus E. Since we have values for these two variables, UL and, uh, and the sample mean, then we may solve for the value of E. By substitution, this is 80, that's the upper limit, equals sample mean is 75, plus E. By the add addition property of equality, by adding negative 75 to both sides, the right-hand side of the equation will become 75 minus 75 plus E, and we'll get 0 there. What will be left is E. E equals, uh, in the left-hand side, we have 80 minus 75. We are making this detailed so that everybody will be able to follow. That is 80 minus 75 so, the value of E is 5. The margin of error is 5. Next, for the confidence interval, we know that it is between the lower limit and the upper limit. So, that's between 65 and 80 or the confidence interval is greater than 65 but less than 80. We write first, of course, the lower limit, uh, that which has a lower value, and then to the right is the upper limit. And the length, of course, is upper limit minus lower limit. 80 minus 65, the length is 50. If we would like to make an accurate estimate of parameter, it is necessary to identify the appropriate sample size. Factors affecting the sample size are the maximum error of estimate, the population standard deviation, and the confidence level. In computing for the sample size, we use the formula n equals square of z sub alpha over 2 times sigma over e. Take note that in determining sample size, we always round off the resulting value to the next whole number. Example 4. A doctor wants to estimate the number of survivors of certain values. How large should a sample be if he desires to be 99% confident? that true mean is within two survivors of the sample mean. The standard deviation of the survivors is supposed to be three individuals. So the given in this example are the confidence level, which is 99%, the critical value or the what we call confidence coefficient, denoted by the symbol Z sub A over 2, which is 2.58, that comes from the confidence level 99%. Again, from the table, we have a table which uh, gives us the corresponding critical value given the confidence level. In that table, when the confidence level is 99%, the critical value is 2.58. I know you have that uh, values or that table and that was clearly discussed earlier. And 
the value of the margin of error or E is 2 and the standard deviation of the population is 3. Okay. Uh, since we want to know the sample size, then we will be using this formula. And in this formula, we need the value of the critical value or the confidence coefficient. That's why uh, we included that in the given, although the given only problem actually is the confidence. But from here, we may be able to know that value of uh, the co confidence, confidence coefficient. So we need that value and also the value of the standard deviation. We have that and the value of the margin. We also have that. And so we will be left with the variable n and we will be able to solve for its value. So by substitution, this equation is what we will get. The critical value again is 2.58. Then the standard deviation is 3 over the margin of error is 2. So n is equal or sample size is equal to 2.58 times 3 over 2 squared. So by PEMDAS rule, of course, you will multiply this first, then divide by 2, or you may divide it by 2 first, multiply by 3, and then after finding the answer, you will square it. And the value of n or the sample size is 14.98. Therefore, the doctor needs at least 15 survivors, that's when you run this nearest whole number, the doctor needs at least 15 survivors to be 99% confident that the true mean number of survivors is within two individuals of the sample size. Of course, we will choose the, um, the whole number which is greater than 8, non -low, not lower than 8 because uh, we want to be 99% I hope you understand this lesson very well. Until next time.